Hey everyone and welcome back to Nutrition and Cooking with Patty. Uh, today I'm going to continue with my rice cooker uh, meal series and we are going to be making, uh, it's a little more of a challenging uh, stew to make in a rice cooker, but I think we can do it. We'll see. Um, and it's a, it's been a very popular stew that I, I would make often in my cafe. Uh, it would take me a bit longer to do it, but I am today I am going to be making it um, a, a version of it in my rice cooker for uh, in that that will cook for 20 minutes. We'll see. Um, but at any rate, it is the Brazilian yuca stew, and the ingredients for the Brazilian yuca stew are are actually these wonderful ingredients. And I just want to uh, mention that this is a recipe that came out of a book called um, Sacred Cookbook and it's a you can find it online and it's a book of recipes that were gathered from all over the world and different cultures um, these are these are dishes that were known to be healing they are ancient recipes um, in order to get into this cookbook it, the recipe had to be at least 500 years old um, it had to be tasty and it had to be healing, known to be healing for the body. So I loved this uh, Brazilian yuca stew. Um, now the, the, the main version of this stew uh, calls for it to have shrimp in it, but I've always made it without. So it is a vegan, it is a vegan uh, stew. So I'm going to just kind of point out uh, the ingredients and then we'll get going here. So uh, obviously in a Brazilian yuca stew, you need your yuca. So um, I'm going to be cutting this up. What I'm gonna do with the yuca, because yuca takes a little bit longer to cook, um, I'm gonna be cutting it up into much smaller parts so to adjust to the time so that it can cook well um, in the 20 minutes that we have. So I'll probably be um, doing more of like a diced yuca with um, with this. Another important ingredient is the collard greens. Um, and just as with the kale, I take the collard greens, I distem it, and chop, chop it up, um, chop up just the leaf. Another adjustment I'm going to make with this, because it's a 20 minute soup, is that um, you know collard greens can take a little bit longer than kale to cook, so I'm going to be cutting it up a little finer so that it cooks up quite nicely in 20 minutes. All right, so that's our kale. Um, we also have in this stew green and red pepper. We have also, and this is one of my favorite parts, jalapeno. So, and again, you can always adjust the amount of jalapeno you have, depending on how much heat you like in your stew or your soup. If, um, if you don't like any heat at all, then you can leave it out. It's still going to be a tasty stew, even if you don't have the jalapeno. We've got our onion, of course. I'll be using a whole onion, a couple of cloves of garlic. Uh, we've got some cilantro that I will be cutting while be destemming and cutting up the leaves and I do I do like to destem my cilantro and it's very much the same way I destem it um, and I use mainly the leaves and um, cut them up quite um, you know kind of rough cut them I, I like to kind of leave a good portion of the, the leaves I like the leaves kind of floating around in there another ingredient for this stew is a tomato I went ahead and bought tomatoes that were already diced um, kind of saves me a step uh, you, we're, we're using about you know um, a half to three quarters of a cup of diced tomato so rather than getting the tomato I just decided no nah, what the heck let me just buy some diced tomatoes so um, and you can do that as at home as well um, the juice of one lime all right that goes in there as well and coconut milk you can use whatever kind of coconut milk you like um, and we're going to be using one can of coconut milk. All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to uh, take a moment, going to chop all this up, and then we'll come back in a minute, and I'll show you how it all goes together in the uh, rice cooker, and then the rice cooker does the rest of the work for us. All right. 
Hey you guys, listen, the, seg the section of this video where I show you all of the chopped up pieces, it didn't come out. So I'm just gonna tell you, I took all of those ingredients and I chopped them up really small. So the yucca was chopped up into little cubes, um, the collard greens was cho were chopped up really, really nice and small. Everything was chopped up really small because we're dealing with uh, a 20 minute um, period of time. So just remember that you're chopping up stuff small. And then all I did was add it to the rice cooker um, and fill it up to about halfway with water. Um, and that was it and then I turned on the rice cooker and let the rice cooker take it from there so uh, then the next section you're gonna see kind of what it looks like in about 15 minutes all right all right so our Brazilian yuca stew has been going for about 15 minutes as you can see it's all bubbling in there very very nicely I have tested I have tested the yuca and it is soft. So the yuca is no longer hard. And so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to add the coconut milk. I'm going to squirt some lime in there. Awesome. And uh, give it a stir. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. That really is uh, quite beautiful. So, and I'm going to just let it cook the rest of the way. And, uh, and we'll see you in a minute. All right, well, here we are with the finished product. This stew came out. Uh, beautifully. Uh, it's very, very tasty. I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like here. As you can see, it's it's really thick. I'm going to give it a stir. Really thick, really beautiful, very colorful. Um, so the rice cooker, you know, doing the uh, Brazilian yuca stew in the rice cooker was a big success. I'm going to uh, sit and have a bowl of it right now. Um, and um, I encourage you to try this. This is um, a wonderful soup, very healing, very, very old recipe, and you can make it in 20 minutes. It doesn't get any better than that. Enjoy, and thanks for watching.